Hi everyone. So now we will learn about components in React Native. And see, components are the basic and fundamental things uh, in any React Native application. So whatever you are creating in a React Native application on UI is created with the help of components, right? So in this video, I will tell you what are the components, types of component. After that, uh, example of component like uh, how we can create a component, how we can use, reuse and how we can import components from one file to another file and at the last we will discuss some important interview questions also all right so now let's start with the first question what is the component see component is independent reusable code such as function so maybe there is some question in your mind first one is what is the meaning of reusable code so if you know any programming language like c c plus plus javascript python so maybe you heard about the uh, concept of functions we can create a code once and we can use it again and again with the same way we can create a component once and we can use it again and again in the different screen in the same screen wherever we want all right second thing what is the meaning of independent so let's say in your application you have 10 components and you are just uh, making changes in uh, any nine component right so it will not make any impact of your current component so that's why we call it independent it will only impact your component if you are just uh, making changes inside it right if you are making change in any other code it will be stay safe and uh, there will be no impact third thing is uh, if they are same as functions so why we cannot call them functions or why we need components why just uh, we are not work with the uh, function the thing is function can only return some output but components can return ui also all right so that that is the difference between function and components the next thing is uh, what are the types of components so there are two types one is functional second one is class based long back we are using a uh, class based function uh, components also but now uh, react uh, native and react js suggested that we should use functional components so in this complete series we will talk about uh, uh, functional component and wherever we need any component we will make a function based component I will tell you in upcoming video how we can create a, a class based component but that will be only one or two video uh, in all other videos wherever we need as I told you like wherever we need uh, components we will use functional components so there is some different categories also for functions like pure functions and stateless functions and all but we will learn them in upcoming videos right so there is not only single video of components in react native series we will make many more videos also all right so now the next thing is uh, uh, let, let's just take a look of uh, uh, example on the ui like how could be look like a component so in the middle screen on the middle mobile screen here you can see that we have the five boxes right so one boxes can be represent uh, one component and how it could be uh, reusable so we can just you uh, write this user component once and we can use it again and again and again like uh, just on the first position and just after the document and even uh, we can use it in the different screens also in header also even header is also a component so that is the good example of reusability like we need header in all screens right so that we can say that header is a good example of component all right so now how we can create a component let's see in the code so let me just show you the emulator there also and uh, first of all i am just uh, closing this uh, explorer so that we have more space in screen so app function app is also a component and you can see that this is the first component in our application whenever you are uh, just creating the fresh application of react native all right so what i'm going to do i am just creating a creating a one more const and let's say my component name is uh, user data right and we are just making a arrow function so guys if you are not aware about arrow function see this is not the part or you can say that feature of react native or react js this is a, a feature of uh, javascript so if you are not aware about it then just uh, uh, read little about it about it that will be better for you right so and if you are just just know the basics of it then then that's great so we are returning something and whenever we are returning we need to return some you can see that uh, ui part so there 
I am okay so I am just copying this text so that uh, we will just finish this video soon and with the minimum time so let's say uh, the font size is 20 there and I am putting there name could be Anil right and there is some more details about user let's say age and age could be let's say 29 email is let's say anil at the rate test.com so this is our component and now actually this is ready to use so we just created it we are uh, not used yet so how we can use it just copy it from there keep in mind guys so whenever you are creating any uh, component it should be start with the capital letter right so now just use it like this and here you can see that these are the details even how you can reuse it you can just paste it anywhere uh, just copy it and you can paste it again and again three and four times how many times you can just want to paste you can do that all right okay what's wrong with it let me just check yep actually this is just reloading all right so uh, this is the uh, one component so, so let's say you want to create one more component then let me show you after that we will learn that how we can create a component in the different file also just copy your first component and paste it again so i am just putting there let's say the name of this component is company data and i'm putting their name is let's say abc company after that uh, total emp that means total employee let's say 500 and and at the last product product of company is let's say a b x y z x y z product right so how we can use it same as we just used user data so just copies like this and it should work here we go even you can use this component inside the user data also if you just use it there then it will still work fine perfectly working fine all right even you can use it on the top or in the middle anywhere whatever you wherever you want perfect all right so in maybe in interviews they can ask that can we use uh, nested components that means uh, one component inside another component again inside another component definitely we can use okay so now let's say because you have uh, 10 component then that that is fine fine if you have two or three thousand four thousand component then how you will you will manage in single file that time you must create a component in different file all right so what i'm going to do now i am creating a one more folder with the name of component components is better but it, it should be in small right and inside it you can create a file so let's say should uh, guys keep in mind your file name should be match with the uh, your component name so you can just uh, see that what is the file name and you don't need to open the component uh, just uh, looking on the file you can identify that what is that component act is actually doing all right so now uh, you can just copy this uh, company data from there and paste there all right so is it fine it will work fine no it will not work fine so first thing is that we have to import something from react native and what we need to import view and text all right and after that we have to export it so just put there export default and uh, there you can put the component name which is component data and now just come come back your application and uh, if you just want to use this component inside the uh, app just before the component then let's import it first right oh, yeah. okay so import 
company data from components in there and now just simply put there company data and close it like this and here we go here you can see that this data even again if you want then uh, you can use this uh, company data inside the user data also right as much as time you can uh, use it all right so again i have a question for you uh, the answer of this question i'm not going giving in this video maybe next video i will give you the answer is uh here you can see that in react native while we are using uh, importing something we are using these curly braces but in react and in company data we are not using curly braces here why second thing what is the difference between normal export and default export all right so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you have again any query any question you can ask me in the comment box and i will recommend you to please watch my complete series link is given in the description box and please support me by subscribing my channel like this video and uh, share your feedback in comment section thank you guys